Welcome to Foreign Affairs Winery. A beautiful spot pouring a beautiful glass of bubbly. I'm here with Ed, and Ed is the senior sommelier, correct? That is correct. Uh, senior sommelier is just a fun way of saying old drunk. And uh, <laughs> it's accurate. So you've so, been doing this for a minute then. I've been doing this for a little while, <laughs> exactly. So this well, is our uh, sparkling rosé. It's gorgeous. Thank you. It looks really beautiful. Um, why the name? Foreign Affair was, uh, winery was started in 2004, was our first vintage mm -hmm. by Len and Marissa Crispino. And they used to work, they worked for a short time in Italy in the 90s. Mm -hmm. And while there, they fell in love with uh, uh, Amarone wines. Mm. And that was the affair they had. I get they, it. they came back married to each other. The affair was with wine, <laughs> was with the, not, was with, with uh, not with someone else. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the type of wine they fell in love with was this Amarone, mm -hmm. which is a type of wine uh, from Italy that uh, uses a technique called a passamento winemaking. Mm -hmm. And what that is, is drying some of the grapes before you crush them and make the wine. Interesting. Um, this is a technique we use on our red wines, which we'll try in a, in a bit. You'll get to see some of that. Okay. Um, but um, uh, for the white wines like mm -hmm. this, mm -hmm. uh, we make wine the way everyone else does, basically. Yeah. Harvest the grapes and crush them. Okay, this is delicious. Chin chin. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, it's so fresh. Tasty stuff. Mm -hmm. Light, easy, this is a, uh, uh, not a traditional method. Mm -hmm. This is a, 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 a tank method or Charmat method of making uh, sparkling. So very much like um, um, uh, some of the wines out of Italy that you see, uh, Prosecco. Oh, uh, I do made love my way. Prosecco. Exactly. So, I really do. Lovely stuff. <laughs> not a pile of money, $25, not a whole bunch of money. And this one's in the LCBO right now, actually. All uh, three of these are, are they not? They are, that's true. So What's the, this um, next one? The next wine is the Rosé. Amarose is a uh, uh, obviously a rosé wine, mm -hmm. very like, pale, uh, Provençal sort of color mm -hmm. to it. It's not it's the, beautiful and dry. It's not the sweet, uh, you know, white Zinfandels of yesterday yeah, yeah. Uh, that we're doing. Um, and uh, it's also in the LCBO at the moment, um, and only twenty dollars, not a bunch, nineteen ninety-five. Okay. Now that That's one delicious. and this one aren't in the LCBO that often. They're Ooh. sort of summer releases. They're small lots uh, that go out. Almost everything we make is a small lot, really. Uh, uh, for that dry wine. That's delicious. You could drink that with anything. You can, and for me, this is something that I'm having when uh, uh, I'm warming up the barbecue. Mm -hmm. And then when the, when the steak comes off the barbecue, I move over to the big red wine. Right. This, is, this is standing around and trying that. This is just for the pre, this is for the appetizer. That's right, this is the actual yeah. main show. So the guests come in the door and you try this. Yep. And then when the barbecue starts, you start, you start with this one. And then when the dinner comes off, you oh, go to this guy. The nose so this, on this is, is gorgeous. Yeah. Conspiracy is a oh. blend, Bordeaux, a classic Bordeaux style blend, Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, and Merlot. Mm. Uh, and it is a Ripasso wine. And you'll know, learn a little bit more about some of that later when you talk to uh, uh, mm -hmm. my friend Rene. But what oh. this means is it's a wine that's been aged on the skins of another wine. And yes, you can ask, I've you heard can about ask, that. yeah, you can ask Rene about, about that. that. Yep. Uh, so we get a little bit more color, a little more density in the wine by doing that. I love it. Um, and this one is routinely at the LCBO. Okay. In the vintage um, In section. the vintage section, yeah, in the fancy corner. Yep. Um, and uh, on this coming Sunday, it actually goes on uh, sale. Perfect. LCBO. So well, there you $3 go. off. It'll only be $17. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's great for it's vintage. It's a hell of a deal. All right. Well, thanks so much, Ed. We've had an interesting and, and uh, fun time here <laughs> at the bar. Coming up, we are going to do a tasting. We're going to show you some of the food offerings that they have here at Foreign Affairs Winery. Stay with us. Lots more to come on Morning Live.